It's my birthday. 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 Mm -hmm. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name's Fatima. In this video, I wanted to share just like my 2020 visions as an update because we're midway through the year. It is a new moon and it's actually my birthday, hence all the balloons. And I just wanted to talk about what I'm grateful for and what I've been implementing and as an update to my last video. So if you would like to stay tuned, please keep on watching. I know in January I talked about, you know, trying to get better about money, traveling, agency representation, all these things, being more intimate with myself and others. I really just want to touch on basically how I've been managing and faring with those things. I do feel like, and keep in mind, I made all of these goals before COVID-19 happened and just thank God I was able to still manifest some real goals and manifest some real dreams and realities and still stay positive and still have life affirming thoughts and still like keep healthy. And I just want to share some of those practices and also just share what I still want to bring into my life. Let me start with what I do know. I know that at this moment, moment, moment in my life, I know that I want to communicate more and better. I want to feel more confident in what I have to say and not feel like I need to second guess or feel like, okay, I'm new here. Let me not speak up. I feel like my inclination and my intuition is a lot stronger than I've given myself credit for. So... As a goal, I do want to communicate more and with more confidence. The second vision I have for myself is to be more vulnerable. Um, I've been learning that when I just put myself out there fully and know that like, regardless if I'll be accepted or not and just trust that because I'm putting my whole self forward instead of my best foot forward, I'm putting all my feet forward. Just knowing that it's all going to work out because at the end of the day, I was my whole self like I wasn't trying to be something I wasn't making myself smaller or I wasn't trying to be something for someone else or for the job so anything that happens will be because I am who I am not because I was putting on some type of act so being vulnerable um, in my relationships being vulnerable with myself um, just being open open to what can happen and open to the possibilities is something that I really foresee for myself at this particular point in my life, um, I think even the new moon, they ask us to set intentions, to be more vulnerable, to be more mindful of your sensitivities and work on them. Be the person to build those habits that will nurture you and also support you in real ways. Back to being better about finances and being better about financial wellness. In these six months since my last video, I've learned that financial wellness is a part of the self-care, you know, agenda like you want to budget you want to know where your money is going you want to know that at the end of the week you have something for yourself put away you know for your goals you want to not feel like oh maybe i'll have it maybe i don't you want to feel a sense of security for yourself not depending on no one else but for yourself and i feel like that's something thankfully i've been able to cultivate in these past few months um i think i want to segue into what i've been doing so I started working at a dance studio and that has just been the ultimate blessing. Um, it's been about four months now and all I can say is I've been stretched. I've been, uh, I've been called to just do more and be more than I ever thought that I could. And it's such a community there. And ironically, the recital for the dance school that just passed was, the theme was 2020 Visions. And I just thought that was so ironic because that's my whole I mean that's everybody's theme realistically this time of year but like I just felt like okay this is really a line I'm supposed to be here I'm supposed to grow here I'm supposed to bring my strengths here I'm supposed to serve this school because it's already been a blessing to me in so many ways so in that way having a job you know as a model it can be I was used to a sort of independent contractor schedule working here and not working then so working a consistent schedule and also trying to model on top of that is stretching me it's stretching me to be more disciplined it's stretching me to be more flexible with my time and have more belief in my ability to get more than one thing done at the time I don't just have to be a model I don't just have to work at a dance studio I can prioritize my time I can structure my day in order to meet both my create my creative goals and also my day-to-day -day goals because I do love the studio and is it easy all the time no but 
I'm of service to this studio and I love dance and I'm a disciple of dance so why not you know be disciplined about my hours there so again that's one of the main blessings since January like I didn't even know that was going to come and the way that I you know met the dance studio owner was a miraculous story in and of itself so I'll probably just talk about that on another time but I think I wanted to just wrap up and say that because my finances have improved it's also helped me look at my job in a whole new way and look at to, to think about endurance you know to think about commitment and, and real endurance not everything is going to feel good all of the time sometimes you will have to endure through tough times even though even though you love something and even though it's painful right now like just being able to keep at on your heart and in your mind that you're doing this for a purpose and you're here to serve i think that will really help people carry that through what else do i want to like carry into so i want to talk about intimate projects that was one of the goals i mentioned in my last video i have just manifested a beautiful shoe and i'm just so grateful because the whole thing was of my idea it was of it came from my spiritual connection it came from me believing in myself to ask for help, to ask if photographers wanted to reach out, to ask if videographers wanted to help me bring my, bring my vision to life. Um, and I just feel so empowered having done it. I really brought my vision to life. It was in my head. A videographer was there to help me manifest it. And it was easy. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I'm at a point now where like giving feedback and going through the technical and creative direction part of it is, you know, is is taking more time and it's taking more thought and effort but the process was not hard all i had to do was believe in myself and i feel like that's the real message like when you are open and vulnerable enough to believe <laughs> in what is in your brain and then communicate that to other people you know in a respectable and authentic manner that's that's where you want to be that's where you want to be honestly like I'm just so grateful that that manifested and that the project is as beautiful as it is. I can't wait to show you all. Um, but yeah, intimate projects, being intimate with myself, understanding myself beyond, you know, the ego, beyond what I'm trying to put on, beyond tinted moisturizer and lip gloss, like really seeing what Fatima wants, what she deserves. Um... And feeling entitled to that. That's another thing. There's, there's a certain level of, entitle, of entitlement that I learned that you need to have to live a creative life. And I've learned this from the book Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I highly recommend it. Basically, whatever fear you have for not creating something, the underlying question is, who am I to try to do my own shoot? Who am I to go on stage and dance my ass off? Who am I to try to be a model? So when you say... Who am I not to be a model? Who am I not to go on stage and dance? Like, that's the sense of a healthy entitlement. Like, you need to feel entitled to riches. You need to feel entitled to abundance. You need to feel entitled to creativity and a creative lifestyle. So just, again, believing in yourself enough to do your wildest dreams is really what I've been trying to practice these days. And that shoot really did feel like a birthday gift. I know today is my birthday and I know... I'm in this space with all these balloons and I feel good but doing that project was the ultimate manifestation because like a year ago I don't know if I would have had the confidence to do such a thing and also have the pride to like be like yeah I did that shit you know what I mean so what else did I talk about I still keep a journaling practice um I do follow the moon more <laughs> that's something that's is relatively new and I try to you know set intentions and track my goals by the moon cycle because again our women's cycle is often in sync with the moon cycle so I try to just keep my intentions clear and keep everything sort of organic and keep everything just be mindful of what's taking space taking place in space and in my body um I have got into my um more like black owned favorites as far as my self-care I'll link videos down below about the products that I've been into recently. Um, one in particular is Arisha Skin. It's a shea butter company. I'll insert the clips here. Um, they have beautiful hand whipped butters that are infused with all infused with all these like 
herbal oils and essential oils and i really think you all should check them out and speaking of orishas i have been getting back into researching yoruba culture and yoruba religion and just understanding like the words that i hear in my language i am nigerian i'm yoruba and just understanding that where the words of my language come from and the history behind it and the beliefs that are attached to this language and the beliefs that are attached to my people is something that I've really been interested in lately and hopefully I'll do more videos on that as well but I guess I can wrap up my birthday video by just being so grateful for all of my friends and all of the people in my life who are just pouring so much life into me like I just feel like friendships have been made fresh like friendships have been reconnected and rekindled some relationships have ended and I feel like it's all meant and I just love where I am and I love the people who who do allow me the space to learn from them who do allow me the space to support them and nurture them in ways that feel comfortable to me to allow me the space to be open and communicate my ideas and embrace my ideas and embrace my capabilities and help me look for ways that I can better serve my community um, who help me you know re-educate myself and in ways that maybe I don't yet understand, maybe in, you know, the business realm or the legal realm or in ways to advance my career. I'm appreciative to everybody in my life who's really pouring into me in a whole bunch of new ways. People who have engaged in rituals with me, the ritual of cooking, the ritual of hanging out, the ritual of working out, the ritual of just keeping fit, fit in the mind, fit in the body, fit in the heart, like... I'm just, I feel healthy. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I feel healthy because I have so many tools and resources in my life to do that. Um, and I just want to pour it out. This video is, is an example. I just want to give, give out just a taste of what I've been receiving. Um, so yeah, I know this was a little bit of a chatty video, but that was the point. I want to be as open on video as I am, you know, in my little journal i'm gonna be writing in my journal so i want to be able to just share that with more people but i love you all um happy birthday if it's your birthday happy july happy new moon kisses <laughs>